Hello, welcome to Blissful Divination. I'm Shay. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you live from under a rock. A rock, you say. Yes, a rock. I have a viewer request that I'm going to read about today. It's about a woman, a singer, a dancer named Normani. How... I have a viewer that wants to know how Normani is doing, you know, some insight about her career, any projects or anything like that. But the better, the better question sometimes I think is how come I have not heard of her? You guys, Normani is this young woman who, uh, she got her start on X Factor. Um, then she did some Dancing with the Stars in 2017, got third place in that competition. Um, she was a part of a group called Fifth Harmony. Um, then she went solo and she's been featured in other people's work. She had a work called Motivation. But like, why is she not mainstream? She is talented. Like, whatever she's selling, I'm buying it. I looked at this chick and, and they, they told me she was a thoroughbred, basically. She was a thoroughbred. She was a uh, finest specimen. I don't even know who's telling me this in my ear, but they told me that she was a thoroughbred. She was a top specimen, like... She was talented, like she sold you whatever she was selling. Just her dance, like I couldn't tell that this chick was not one of the Dancing with the Stars professionals. Like she was really good. Even her own video, she danced and did things really good. But what I really found beautiful, what was amazingly beautiful was the fact that she talked about how her experience on Dancing with the Stars and dancing with uh, Val, her partner from Dancing with the Stars and how he changed her life. And like to this day, she's very grateful. So I'm just kind of like, oh my, you know what I mean? So let's, let's read about Normani. I, I'm curious too now, you know, and I love this channel. Like you, my viewers are the best viewers, guys. I mean, like you challenge me to grow. Like I'm so busy, you know, meditating and doing all this kind of stuff that I don't really, you know, do other, you know, look at other celebrities or watch TV like that. So I wasn't exposed to her. And you guys challenged me and exposed me to things and show me more beauty, beautiful things. And I was like, this young lady's spirit is radiating so beautifully. And you can tell talent. You can tell. Even when you put it next to mediocre talent, she just made other people look mediocre. So I am curious now. So you got me. So let's take a look at... Normani, give it a quick... Ripple Shuffle. I am using the yellow pocket L'Esprit deck. My deck that I invented. It's the yellow one. I just love yellow in springtime in the spring. But I guess we're coming up on summer now. But same difference. Okay. So. Okay. So they're talking about starting up. It's going to be a focus mainly on um innovation and technology so let's just see i think it's something to do with how things are working so let's take a look and see uh what's not working or what is working or what are they trying to tell us we're gonna have the woman to be normani of course and we'll have the male card be a significant other okay of any gender but just their significant other and we're going to see uh if she has any romance or anything going up with that okay so We got a redraft for y'all. That happens sometimes. I missed one. I missed one. We're going to give it one more time. No biggie. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Normani. I like it. All right, Normani. Same programming. Same programming. Okay. All right, what are you going to talk about? Okay, so her fame. Okay, let's talk about that. Her popularity, her fame. Let's see. ASMR. <laughs> 
All right. All right. All right. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, something's hidden. Mm -hmm. Okay, technology. Okay, some person in her life, significant other, okay. Work. Okay. Something new. Okay, so basically, the first thing that they wanted to say is something. There is a um, a man that is significant to her career. This is talking about her career. Um, she has some kind of some blocks uh, or some boundaries or social media, some sort of social media or media type. Uh, she has some problems with that, possibly getting exposure about the new projects and stuff. And so she's had to make plenty of decisions about work or there's some, uh, she's finding out about some decisions, some more decisions that she has to make. So let's flip and see the whole picture, shall we? And see what's going on in Miss Normani's life. This girl has been working from a very young age. She was 20 in 2017 when she was on Dancing with the Stars. I mean, like goodness. and. She had already been doing other things. I'm like, goodness, girl. Go ahead, girl. You are doing an amazing job. She seemed well-liked by the cast. Everybody that's around her uh, just seems like she lights them up. Look. Oh, my goodness. She's doing her work. And when I look at her, I don't think of, oh, her. she's a singer-dancer. I look at entertainer, performer. That's what she is. And she approached those things to kind of with an athleticism that was commendable. She looks like to me a like she could be Serena Williams's younger sister or daughter. You know what I mean? She looks like a Serena Williams but smaller version, to a younger smaller version. Okay, here she go. So there is there is this person, this significant person, this significant male. Uh, energy in her life that's giving her message about these decisions they're they're in her ear so she's following the advice of this man um and she has decisions and choices to make about that um in regards to work i mean she's talking through some contracts right now work is looking good you know she's a little stressed you know work has slowed just a tiny bit but she's not doing as much as she would want to do you know, she can't really, she's having a hard time seeing the money. And this person is having a hard time seeing it. But, they're, you know, they're talking about that. So her, however, she's in the money. You know, she's, she's very clearly in touch with her money and work. She's trying to figure out how this all works, y'all. She's blasting away at it steadily. Because she's doing what she loves. You know, she really is. And she had a small little block in her career. Uh, and that was because I don't feel like she was being successfully marketed properly. I feel like she has like a spiritual family. Or a new spiritual family. But she's been not spending the time. She's She's not been practicing or adhe like I feel like she's neglecting a little bit her spiritual self but it's there it's definitely there 
I feel like her family, her family is somewhere else. Where is her family at? Or is her family on vacation? Or she has a large family. Hmm. They're just talking about her finding out some stuff, some new stuff about her family. Um... Okay, they're talking about, you know, her having sex. Okay. Or is she having sex with another woman? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so sex is in here. New sex. New sex. Is that the best kind? <laughs> but, okay, she's got the secrets and the blockages behind her. Like, so... I feel like she has some bad, this might be a manager or something. I feel like this might possibly be a manager and not a love interest. Because this person, oops, slip your fingers. This person is uh, like dealing with a lot with work, contracts. This might be a business manager. And I feel like she's not getting along with or seeing eye to eye with her management possibly. Um, in love, she's doing her right now. She's taking some personal time right now. It feels like she's she's not focusing on that right now. But she's not focusing on having that forever happy ending type thing right now. She is focusing on other things right now. That because she feels like that would keep her from achieving what she wants to achieve right now. She feels like she could have that later. And this is unknown to her. Like she's navigating something that she's never done. So. Mm, you know, and I feel like she is, you know, blessed by spirit. Like they, they, you know, she is beloved of spirit. And so you can't even hide it if you want. You know what I mean? This is a sexual energy, a happy sexual energy. Hmm. That could be it. Maybe she's sexually appealing to large groups of people. Large groups of young people. She has her choice and pick of, of males and people, not necessarily just males, but people that she can be with. Like, she's feeling herself. I hear that song, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, and the hair flip. Feel it, feel it. <laughs> What's up with her money, though? She's not seeing her money appropriately. She needs to possibly fire this person. This is for entertainment purposes only. If I saw this and they was reading about me, I'd be like, I got to fire this individual because this individual wouldn't be good for me. So she should possibly consider changing representation management. You know, one that more that is more in alignment with her. Because there's such a disconnect. I, she is not feeling it. You know, I think it's hindering her work. Hmm. So I feel like she's not been going to church or she's not been praying or something. She's blocked in her communication with spirit. Okay, so the question is, what is she hiding? She's hiding something about her sex life. She's hiding something. New projects. At this moment right now, like I said, this person is negotiating some stuff, but he can't he he can't get her what she's worth. So right now, I feel like her projects are all up in the air based on this person right here trying to be greedy or whatever the heck they're trying to do. Or just not, I feel like they just don't get her. They're not marketing her effectively or appropriately. And that's why. her She ain't got the right people. Girl, you need new people. Drop this. I, I basically would replace them. I would make a business decision for the future, for myself right now and for the future, to release this management and get something new, honey. Because he can't see the money. He can't. 
he can't he's he, he's not elevated enough to represent you so you could see much more money he's there's like money you're missing you're there's he's playing with your coins girl But I feel like she also is becoming aware and she's fighting against... She, there's a little bit of conflict. So it's she's not unaware. I just think that she has to drop this loyalty thing and get just a little bit more of an edge. I know she's grateful to be where she is and I know she's thankful and I know she's humble and all that kind of stuff like that. But honey child girl, and you want to be well liked, honey child girl, you need to take some of these people and train them to be the way it need to be because uh-uh, they telling you whatever. Trying to make sell you some wolf tickets, girl. Some wolf tickets. Do not buy them. Don't buy any more then. <laughs> yeah, so... There are some projects that this guy, this person, this management is looking at about work. But it's not. It's pittings. It's, it, it, it's the same caliber. It's pittings. It's features. It's, 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 you know, what is it, uh... The best sidekicks and stuff like that. No, honey, you can pull. You are an entertainer. You are talented. You can pull it like you can headline. He, this person is being overly cautious because they got confidence issues. They got spiritual confidence issues. And you can't represent somebody who ain't at the hot height of confidence. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody that can see you, your potential. Even if you're amazing, they got to still be able to see great in you still and get you what you're worth and go for those things and be like, nah, I don't think that's good for Normani. You don't know. You don't know, sweetie. Just, uh, uh-uh, no. Stop it. Let her go. Let her be great. Let me just see anything else. It's a slow, steady movement forward that she's going to be going in her life. But like I said, right here is her blockage and her stoppage. She needs the faster, the sooner that she can get rid of this situation right here that's messing with her paper, her coins, the bag, then the sooner I think that she can make that crossover. Because she's not far from the crossover. She just needs to... She made, she, you know, when she first got in the game, she made it, she crossed over to a larger audience and now it's time to, to do it again. And this is not the person to get you there. I think you need to go on and um, part ways and get somebody new with a new vision that got a new, you know, that got a finger on a pulse. You know what I mean? That actually knows what this, how to market appropriately in these times. And that is all I'm getting right now. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. I want to thank you for all the suggestions. If I can go keep on suggestion, if I can read for them, I will. And when I say if I can read for them, if spirit will let me, um, then I will. So um, I do have a few that's on deck. You guys, I have other people that have made comments and uh, requests. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting them out. Um, there's a backup. So um, it's a backlog rather. Uh, and so they'll be coming out as time goes on. Um, but I, I appreciate you guys. And we are inching and creeping closer to a thousand subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Uh, so keep it up guys. Thank you so much for just supporting me and supporting this channel. You guys elevate me and uplift me, right? You challenge me. And I also want to say, if you are looking to get a personal reading about any topic of your life, you want to do some forecasting or, or, you know, some things that you want to work on, please see the description box below and check out my website. Uh, it'll tell you about my services and my rates and you can book directly from the site. Also, if you are interested in picking up this deck so you can follow along and doing what I'm doing as we do it. Um, then also check the description box below. It'll be a link to my shop and you can pick up this deck and I have a couple of other decks up there too. So thank you. So I just want to say guys, thank you so much for your encouragement and as always elevate and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.